Felicity from Get Your Rock Out, here with Dave from the Anti Nowhere League. How are you doing today? Yeah, good, thanks. Fantastic. Yeah. And we are, of course, here at Sonosphere. Have you actually managed to do anything yet, or have you just got on site? Uh, no, we got here last night. So we had a bit of an evening last night, had a few beers, watched Prodigy, and a stroll this morning. They were wonderful, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, like, really good, yeah. Have you seen them before? Or was this, was this like our first Download. Prodigy experience? Down there, we saw them a couple of years ago. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Not as good as Chaz and Dave were today, though. Really? I didn't see them. Were they, were they good? <laughs> awesome, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I heard them from the car park as I realised that I'd forgotten all my gear and then had to leave again. I was yeah, like, yeah, well, that's right. crap time. Um, so you're basically here all weekend, aren't you? I mean, yeah, you're not yeah, playing until tomorrow. That's so. it, tomorrow night, yeah. So are you, are you having to take it easy until tomorrow, or are you, are you basically drinking tonight? Well, I've said I'm going to take it easy, <laughs> but I say that every time, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> and, like, there's been really quite a big buzz around your set here at Sonosphere. Um, I, think, I know that I've seen you on like quite a few kind of people's ones to watch for the weekend lists. Um, oh, I mean, right. are you guys looking forward to the set? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, really sort of pleased to be asked to play it. And... Uh, yeah, that's it. It's kind of nice. There's quite a bit of a buzz about the band generally at the moment, which is it's kind of cool and a bit of a wave at the moment, so it's cool. No, it's, it's brilliant. I mean, you're kind of one of these bands that's been around just absolutely forever. Um, and it kind of gets, it seems to go in peaks and troughs, and we have periods where we hear loads from you and you're everywhere and you're doing everything, and then you kind of drop off for a while and we're thinking, you know what, what's, <laughs> what's going on? And then you kind of seem to come back, but every time you've come back, you seem to be doing more and more than the last time. Um, I mean, is that is that just something that's developed organically, or have you basically thought, actually, if we're going to focus 100% on this now, we really want to make it in exceptional? Yeah, I think so. I think kind of you get to points sometimes where you reach saturation point where you're doing too much, and you have to take a bit of a step back. And you know, I think a, a few years ago we were playing like hundreds of shows around the UK, and just to take a bit of a step back, and then like we do one UK tour a year now. Um, but we've got new management involved and stuff, and we've been doing a lot abroad. Just done a big tour of the states, which was really good with um, TSOL and uh, Chromax as well and uh, dwarves so yeah really really good tour so that's kind of cool. fantastic yeah and is that something that you're going to be focusing on kind of more in the future like the stateside thing um or was that was that just a one-off and you're seeing how that develops from now no i don't know i think there's a lot of interest out there for to get us back out and there's places we didn't play so definitely gonna do more of that but i think it's just generally keeping us busy but sort of spreading it around a little bit you know yeah. Um, and you guys, I mean, you're quoted in a couple of places of saying that kind of punk isn't what it used to be and it isn't what it was and it's not, you know, it's not got the same attitude towards it as it has. But I've seen so many kind of underground punk bands coming up and doing the same thing that, you know, was happening years and years ago. Yeah. I mean, do you think that it's it's kind of going through a resurgence at the moment or do you think that um, that scene as it was is, is gone and it's not going to be coming back? No, I think there'll always be a scene. Um, I think the whole punk ethos is more about rebelling against what everyone else is doing about doing your own thing doing it yourself so i think that that punk vibe will never go away i think possibly some of the the sound of that original punk thing is changing now a lot of the newer punk bands are actually doing different things you know what i mean and it's it's sounding a lot more interesting now and that's that's what it needs is a bit of a fresher kind of approach you know oh interesting and yeah. so who i mean do you tend to look at any of the kind of underground and the up and coming punk bands is that something that you do have you got anybody that you're really keen on at the moment or do you not tend to kind of discover new stuff we tour with lots of great bands and there's lots of bands out there that you know are, are really doing it out there um but i think you take a band like sonic boom six they're they're not really what you would consider to be a traditional punk band but they're playing the punk scene and the fact that they're doing something different to everyone else is doing actually makes them punk in itself do you know what i mean so completely, yeah completely yeah um, and the last studio album from you guys was 2007 and so it's, it's quite just a, just a few <laughs> years ago now yeah, yeah i mean is that ever something that's going to be another consideration or are you basically actually just wanting to do the live side of things no i think i think we want to do another album another studio album We've been talking about it like very recently. Oh, really? We've just actually re-recorded a load of the old tracks just to get into the studio together and actually play together in the studio and just see how we work again and get that going. So that was kind of a bit of an experiment. Um, and a lot of the original We Are The League tracks um, were done, were censored so much that the original lyrics and things were all cut and had to be changed around. So we've just done it exactly how it was written. Seriously? Yeah, that's amazing! Is, yeah, so that's the We Are The League Uncut, which is sort of out now. 
that's but brilliant. on the back of that now I think we're going to be doing some new stuff which should be good <laughs> but I mean that's really good and how was it being in the studio together was it was it, I mean was it an enjoyable experience yeah I have to say like in all my years of playing I think the most ever gelled with a band in the studio I think like I did all my drum tracks in a day like four hours did 15 drum tracks and it was just bang best I've ever played in the studio so wow. that kind of practice live is really coming across when we go and record in the studio so I think when we finally get our fingers out and do a new album I think it'll be good so yeah. That is brilliant yeah. um, and you're touring the UK um, kind of at the end of this year as well I've just announced yeah. tour for November which is great um, and when kind of the rest of this year are you thinking that that's going to end up being studio or next year? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's I would think really so yeah brilliant. we're all getting a bit older now so we need a bit of time <laughs> out now and again as well well, that is something to really, really look forward to. I think a lot of people will be really excited to, yeah, yeah, to see cool. that. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to chat today. That's right. No like, worries. I hope that you can spend the rest of the day drinking in fine festival style. Well, that's it. I can go and get amongst it now, yeah. <laughs> um, we'll really look forward to hopefully seeing you tomorrow. Yeah, cool. Yeah, we'll see you then. Thank you. Cool.